What's up folks, bringing you another video today. This is the update on the tank. I told you yesterday on my other video that I was gonna come up here and put water in this thing finally. I don't know if you guys can see it, probably not. There it is, right there. There's the plug. I still on it. Sorry, I got a wipe off my phone. That plug down there opens up. And there's a float in there, which allows water to come down here for smaller animals that can't reach this. But it's messed up, and all the water ran out the bottom out of the whole damn tank. I came up here the next day and found that out. So, I was going to try to wedge this dowel rod here in between that and the side of the tank, but they didn't put it exactly even with this side, so it's like this, and it turns this way. I put the dowel rod in it, when I put the silicone in that plug and I pushed the plug inside there and put the dowel rod to hold it. But we had some rain and I came up here the other day and this dowel rod was floating just like I thought it would. So it's siliconed. I brought a bucket with me and I uh, filled up that smaller one for the smaller animals because like I said the, the raccoons are coming down on the porch and getting into the water and getting the deck all money that I just painted so yeah that place that I'm going to get the trap is down there and then there's a fence right there that goes all the way down and just on the other side of that fence, I'm going to trap there. So. But I got some water in this for the critters and the deer. Uh, we got a heat wave coming. It's going to be 95 to 97 with the heat index pretty bad. There's already no water in, the, in all these ditches down here. Uh, I have a wild spring over there, but there's a rock core that way, and when they blast, it moves the rock just right, and it shuts it off. It's not flowing right now, so there's no water coming out of it, because it'll flow all summer long if they don't blast it and mess it all up. But it's dry too, so. I mean, there's ponds around here, but a lot of them, like the, the one over there on the other side of me over there, it's so mossy, I don't know how they could even drink out of it. It's so, it's so nasty. So, and I know when we used to have cows here, they'd come up to the troughs at night and drink out of them. So, I know they'll drink out of this. But I just wanted to bring this to you. Uh, I'm going to go to my local family center. They got these tabs that you put in here. A guy across the street told me about them. And gave me one to put in the last one, but it got wasted. But it's supposed to keep the algae from growing in here as bad. So This will make me feel better. I hope they come to it. And get them some water. It makes me feel better. You know, hunters and trappers. You know, you can think bad of them, but I do things like this to help out. So, but I want to bring this to you. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribing. Leave me a comment. Uh, share it. We need more people doing things like this. I mean, if you got the 
resources and like I said I I helped my buddy down the road here we was taking down some barbed wire fence and the guy that owned it before him left it there so he said I could have it so there was my resource and then my other neighbor across the street loans me this which he said when he gets a new one he's gonna give me this one so I'm doing what I can but I'm thinking next year tell me what you guys think about this I lifted this rock up and I wedged another rock up underneath of it I thought about trying to get a trap in here I don't know if I can yet because this is so rocky over here stuff some bait way back in the back put the trap pretty close to the opening I can't seem to catch a coyote or a bobcat up here. I don't know why. Year after year, like I said, I've had I had a trap up there and I've had a trap here many, many times. And you know, I I keep trying to work on the MB550 and the, the K9 Extreme before I lost it. Uh the bobcat would just roll all over it, step on it. I had coons right here stepping on it. This, this is two different seasons I've tried to use that them to. And I, and I can't get them to work. My bridger can catch a house cat. I, I just can't figure out why them other ones are that way. So I'm about done with them. Every time I stick a bridger here after they mess with my mb550 or the k9 extreme they don't show back up <laughs> but i'm gonna get back down to the house i got a bunch of work to do for the heat gets here so all right folks hit that subscribe button later